Bangalore, the country's fifth largest city and the third most populated one. Also called as the Silicon Valley of India because most of the IT companies of India are located in Bangalore. Now Bangalore is known for its famous for lots of things that beats gardens, climate, diversity, coffee and so much more. But one thing Bangalore is also known for is its traffic. Bangalore's traffic is pathetic. People take hours to reach from one place to another. In fact, studies have shown that the average speed of a vehicle in Bangalore is just 21.2 kmph, which is one of the slowest amongst all metropolitan cities of the entire country. Moreover, Bangalore doesn't have a stable suburban railway network like Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. So, traveling becomes very hard. So, Karnataka government had to find a solution to the overcrowding on roads problem. In the year 2003, the Karnataka government appointed the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation Limited or DMRC it successfully established the Delhi Metro to create a detailed project report or a DPR for a metro in Bangalore and a special purpose vehicle called Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation Limited or BMRCL was formed to build, operate and expand Namma Metro. So now, since we've talked about this, let's talk about Namma Metro's growth. So, Nama Metro is not just open all at once. It was constructed and is being constructed in many different phases, including phase 1, 2, 2A, 2B, 3 and more. In fact, now it has become phase 3A and 3B as well. We'll discuss that later in this video. So, the DPR of this Nama Metro project was prepared and submitted in May 2003. The phase 1 was approved by the Union Cabinet in April 2006 and construction started in April 2007. And in just 4 years, the first stretch of phase 1 on 20th of October 2011 was opened for public on the 6.7 km eastern stretch of the purple line between Baya Panna Halli and MG Road or Mahatma Gandhi Road. And immediately after opening of this line, the ridership has increased to lakhs because lots of people used to started to use this mode because it became the cheapest and most fastest mode of transport. Around 13 lakh people used the service in the first month with an average of 41,000 people every day. Uh, after around two and a half years, on 1st of March 2014, the northern stretch of the Green Line from Pinya Industry to Sampik Road, which ran for 9.9 kilometers, opened for public. Around 7.6 lakh people used this uh, in the first month with a daily average of 24,000. Next year, the green line was extended for 2.5 kilometers north till Nagasandra. And in the same year, the western part of the purple line for 6.4 kilometers between Makti Road and Mysore Road opened on 16 November 2015. But the underground section between Makti Road and MG Road it took time to open. It took time to complete. Now you may be wondering what happened? Why was it delayed? Now the geological conditions of Bangalore make it one of the hardest in the country to make underground sections. This is because Bangalore's um, soil is a mixture of soft soil, high groundwater levels, hard granite, hard rocks and the tunnel boring machines have to go through all these conditions. Now it rarely happens that a tunnel boring machine breaks, the cutter head breaks and this has happened in one of the TBMs uh, of Bangalore Metro that the cutter head of the TBM, uh, TBM Godavari to be precise, 
which was derailing the underground tunnels for the Green Line Metro, its cutter had broke, and spare parts had to arrive from Italy. But despite of the underground tough terrain, uh, the missing link between MG Road East Ramp and Magdi Road West Ramp uh, opened for public. This was a 4.8 km stretch. After the completion of this, the ridership increased hugely because people can directly go from Bahia Pannahalli to Mysore Road without changing trains. And uh, is opened on 30th of April 2016. Finally, in June 2017, that is roughly one year after the opening of the Purple Line, the stretch of the Green Line from Sampik Road to Yellow Chinnahalli for 12 kilometers open for public, marking the completion of Phase 1. Now, both these lines, that's the Purple Line and Green Line, intersect each other at the Logistic Metro Station. Now, this is a very special station because uh, this station has a rail interchange line using which purple line trains can move to the green line and green line trains can move to the purple line. Now, after the completion of phase 1, many places like Yellow Chinnahalli, RV Road, Lal Bar, KR Market, Chickpeat, Majestic, Sampik Road, Yashwantpur, Pinya, Naksandra, etc were got connected by the Green Line and the Purple Line connected areas like Mysore Road, Hosahalli, KSR Bengaluru Railway Station, Majestic, Vidhan Sodha, MG Road, Indra Nagar, Bahia Pannahalli, etc. Construction of Phase 1 is complete but this really two lines for 42 kilometers cannot decongest entire city's roads. Therefore, a Phase 2 was also uh, being constructed. Right now, two sections of phase 2 are already open. So, on 15th of January 2021, the first stretch of phase 2, which is the southern extension of the Green Line up till Silk Institute for 6.3 km, opened on public on 15th of January 2021. In the same year, the western extension of the Purple Line up till Kengiri for 7.5 km also open. Now this is the entire operational network of Nabma Metro which uh, is 56.1 km being the third longest metro network in India after Delhi in Hyderabad. The green line is 30.4 km and the purple line is 25.7 km. So this is our operational network. But lots of lines are under construction as well. And how much lines are under construction as of now? How much kilometers? Not 10, not 20, not 30, 40. A whopping 118 kilometers of network is under construction right now. So what, which ones will open first, which will open later? Let's see. So uh, phase 2 under construction lines is what we are going to talk about now. So the first under construction net part of phase 2 will open which is the northern extension of the green line. This uh, about 3.7 kilometers up till Madhavar is going to open in September 2022. In the same month, the western part of the purple line, a western extension up till uh, well, a short 1.3 kilometers till Chalaghatta is also set to open in September 2022. In, in December 2022, the eastern extension of the purple line of 15.5 kilometers up till Whitefield is set to open. The same month, the eastern part of the yellow line for 13 kilometers from Bombasandra to Central Sirgold is also set to open. And we have a detailed video on the yellow line in case you want to know more. If Namma Metro opens all this in time, that, that means that our operational network will see uh, addition of 33 kilometers of under construction lines in 2022, making our total network 89 kilometers. Bangalore will overtake Hyderabad Metro and become the second longest metro in India. 
Now I'm coming back. Then in May 2023, the remaining link of the purple line from forward will run for approximately 5 kilometers till RV Road is also going to open. Now, the, eventually, the outering road became very important. Lots of companies set uh, their offices there and outering road started getting congested. So, the uh, need for a metro in outering road was also felt. But the government didn't want the VMRCL to take a phase 3 project for the outering road. They wanted them to make it faster so that more people can benefit. Therefore, a phase 2A was formed. The phase 2A is a first section of the blue line which runs for 19.75 km from Central Silport to KL Puram. This is set to open in June 2025. And in the same year, it is said that this blue line will be extended for another 38.4 km till Kempegoda International Airport which is up called Phase 2B and is set to open in December 2025. Finally, the last stretch of Phase 2, that is uh, the Kalena Agrahara to Nagwar Pink Line. So this will run for 21.25 km connecting Kalena Agrahara and Nagwara. This is set to open in 2026. Now you may be wondering, since the blue line was is approved much later, then how, how will it be open earlier than the pink line? The reason is that the pink line is mostly underground. Yes, only the stretch from Kalena Agrahara to Dairy Circle South Ramp, which is about 7 kilometers, is elevated, and the 14 kilometer stretch from Dairy Circle Ramp to Nagpal is going to be underground. And since this is Bangalore, underground sections do take time to complete. We have already discussed the complications. After the completion of Phase 2, Bangalore Metro will reach many areas like Kengeri, KR Puram, Hooti Junction, Whitefield, Silk Institute, Madhavar. This will be on purple and green lines. Then the newer lines will connect locations like Jaydeva, Silk Board, Hosa Road, Electronic City, IIM Bangalore, Dairy Circle, Cantonment, Tannery Road, Nagwar, and the Blue Line, which will is Phase 2A and 2B, will connect Silk Board, Iblur, Marathali, KR Puram, Nagwar, Hebbal, Yalahanka, Airport, etc. So basically, all this means that our roads can get decongested a lot. But is government stopping here? Is BMRCL stopping here? No, sir. Phase 3 is also in the making. Right now, all the lines of Phase 3 are just in the proposed stage and none of them are approved. So the alignment of the routes may change later since construction has not started. Now, let's first talk about Phase 3A. Now, there were two corridors of Phase 3 that were taken up on priority. Now, so this is called Phase 3A. So, let's talk about Phase 3A. The first line uh, called the ORR West Line or Orange Line, which will be 32.15 km long, connecting JP Nagar Phase 4 to Hebel. This is called the ORR West Line since it will mainly follow the ORR. And another corridor is there whose color is undecided. It will run for 12.5 km between Hosa Halli and Kadbagere. Both these lines will intersect at Sumanna Halli Cross. And both these corridors uh, will open by 2028. The DPR is ready and is sent to government for approval. Now let's talk about Phase 3B. Now this right now has one corridor whose color is undecided. It will run for 37 km from Sarjapur to Hebel, connect passing through city's major core areas. So this is expected that a uh, phase stretch from Sarjapur to Kormangla ramp will be elevated and from Kormangla ramp to Hebel will be entirely underground which is around 16 to 17 kilometers of network will be uh, underground. After the completion of phase 3, uh, Nama Metro will connect many important areas like JP Nagar Phase 4, JP Nagar, Pest Institute, Mysore Road, 
Bedkar Institute of Technology, Suman Nalli Cross, Pinya, Hebel, etc. This is the orange line. And our Sarjapur Hebel line will connect many important locations like Sarjapur, Dom Sandra Circle, Carmel Ram, Kiblur, Agra, Four Mangla, Dairy Circle, Town Halls, Central College, Mekri Circle, Veterinary College, etc. So, uh, Hebel, X, and more. After completion of all the lines, Hebal is set to become a triple interchange metro station with where the ORR airport line, ORR west line and Sarjapur Hebbal line will meet. Now so over here so we can see that we have all these three lines at Hebbal station, uh, station at Hebbal. Over here the um, Sarjapur Hebbal line station will be underground while the other two will be elevated. Now all these three will be linked to each other by escalators and more and will form one massive Hebal metro station. Once all of these lines will open, Nama metro will serve thousands in lakhs of commuters every single day. Stretching for more than 256 kilometers, it will become India's third largest metro network in the future, considering the future lengths of metro, after Delhi metro and Mumbai metro. Thank you very much. Hope you like this video. If you like my video and like my work, please give this video a like. Do share it with whoever you know so that they also can get aware about how fast Bangalore Metro will grow. Please do comment how you found this video and other videos that you would wish to see. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Thank you very much.